peace, peace, peace all within my cells, peace all as well. What's good, so family? Monday mindset check-in type of thing. I trust and I know that y'all are going through a great way, in a great way, and have a great faith all along the way. So family, this little check-in is something I've been working on with, within myself for a while. And it's called <laughs> the Trinity of Activity. And this Trinity reflects the same Trinity that we all know. The Trinity of Christ, the Trinity of Aset, the Trinity of Body, Mind, Spirit, the Trinity of Body, Mind, Soul. However you like to unwrap it, either way it's going to unfold, you feel me? And I started tuning into the trinities that it already are. And we have a trinity called family. The family structure itself is a trinity. So when we start to be aware of the trinity that's already happening and is birthing things within our own selves on a regular basis, we start to really tune in to where we really are energetically, emotionally, and mentally. So briefly, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about these three activities, the trinity of activity, and you yourself, you'll be able to understand and feel out where within this trinity you think you wanna do some more investigation and some more understanding. You wanna develop more understanding. I feel that this is the breakdown of what um, alignment really is. Because in alignment, what do we align with? Well, we align with our thought. And this reflects the first mind in the trinity of activity. Now, in this trinity, there are three minds. And these three minds are reflective of the different organs that assist us in electrical and um, our nervous, our electric and our nerve systems and interactions. This all basically happens in the brain, the thoughts. And from this dynamic, we have our thinking, our interpretation, and our receiving and sharing with the reality. That's the first. But we also receive, and we have to have a highlighted aspect on that. Why is this important? Well, because this mind determines what goes on in the second mind, or the second state of activity. See, thoughts is a big activity. Talking to you is an activity talking. You're listening, that's another activity. See, the mind of God is one in whole and the activities are the same. They have to be done in a way that honors God, that honors you. Because if I'm speaking and using my words in a way that pollutes the mind, then I'm actually disrupting the second activity which I'm gonna speak into. The second activity is called beliefs, or you can go by way of emotions. Either way it goes, we feel into this because these are our feelings. And our feelings are generated based upon the dynamic of our attention and focus concentration on whatever thought that arises. Now this focus concentration could be focus of three seconds. And if that three seconds is enough to convince someone to believe into something, feel into something, that's not in accordance with the truth of God's beauty, your own true beauty, nature, everlasting life, eternal nature, eternal life, then, you know, now the body's polluted because the body sends signal back to the brain and then releases chemicals based upon the emotions that's been felt. Now you're going to be in a habitual cycle if you continue to uh, stimulate and secrete particular biochemicals because your body is going to habituate those biochemical responses and force you through addiction to find things to make you feel those same exact ways. This trinity is so accurate, I can't really talk too long about it, but this is just an overview video. Why is this important? Well, if you feel a certain way based on what you've seen in a couple seconds, it's polluting, it's wrong, it's actually outside of truth because it's not standing on the foundation of eternal life. So, now basically you believe in a lie temporarily, but what does that make you do? Because this reflects the third mind in the trinity. The activity of the activity is called actions. What do you do? Well, if you're afraid, what do you do? Well, scared people act scared. 
The feeling state reflects the actions that are oriented in that state. Well, this all proceeded first from where? The first, the thought. So, once you have an awareness of the exact way that reality is not only created, but perpetuated through the mind of an individual, through their emotions, we have a lot of crime in the air today. We have a lot of crime in the air today. Because if you're not guarding your awareness, then you might believe into some of these things and none of these alternate realities are real. So this is just a Monday check family. This is just a little insight, a little bit of intellect, a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Some insight for y'all to assess and receive this for yourself. Now, if I said anything less than the truth, talk to me about what I said in the comments, but the real understanding in this is the governing of oneself. I'll go more into this in the course where we dive into each of these activities and how to optimize them for the, at the utmost experience of divine potential that you are and to continue yourself in the expansion of your own infinite potential. Because it's easy. Sometimes people like to build a house along this path somewhere and like to chill for some time. I want to go all the way as long as the way is. So you can use this form to assess where you are within your own beliefs because your actions will speak for you. There's a saying that goes, actions speak louder than words. Well, it's really because they don't need words to say. They don't need words to say. If you love someone in a romantic relationship, how much do you show that in context than you say? Because you can't say it and uh, reject the opportunities to show it. You understand? So it's not all the words because your actions will say what you're not actually vocalizing. And all of the universe hears that. You within yourself, you watch yourself. That's why I'm making this video. Because this is what I'm doing. So you want to watch and see yourself and know that you're doing the same things that you set out to do. Peace to all of God. This was just a slight Monday check-in for everyone and a short overview on the activity of the consciousness in all the three aspects within ourselves. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a coin on it. It's called the Trinity of Activity. And, um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like it. Sounds good. Feels good. <laughs> so with that being said, I appreciate y'all. Stay in tune. Feel the love that you are. Peace and love.